Hello, we're here for Hack Me 2. Welcome to Hack OS 2.0. So, Hack Me 2 is developed by Easy Ways Team, uh, which I'm guessing is the official consolidation of the developers of the first Hack Me. I may be wrong about that. It is published again by Endover Studio, which is the same as before. This one uh, released March 11th, 2017. Uh, I played the original Hack Me earlier today, as a matter of fact, and uh, I was a bit disappointed by it, and I had kind of high expectations for it because I'd heard um, that it was a, one of the better hacking simulators out there, and it turned out to not necessarily be the case. Hack Me 2 is a story about hacker beginner who is going to confront to New World Order. <laughs> Uh, so who's going to confront to New World Order, where is no place for personal secrets? Again, I'm reading this verbatim from the Steam page, and the original Hack Me had some fairly uh, serious um, language, grammar, and syntax issues, which I'm more than happy to overlook, because my assumption is that the developers, uh, English is not their first language, it does make it difficult to ascertain precisely what's going on, and I apologize for that, but I am reading it verbatim here so that you get the same information as me. All right, let's just begin again. Hack Me 2 is a story about a hacker beginner who is going to confront to New World Order, where is no place for personal secrets. In this game, you'll see how real-life hackers work. You'll learn how to use command prompt, SQL injectors, remote control utilities, and brute force software, and log cleaner, of course. Features, more apps, utilities, and commands, references to movies, games, and real life, more realistic hacking, nonlinear plot, web browser within in with in-game internet, original soundtrack, and music player with support of user tracks. So, let's give it a shot. All right, hi, I have something for you. Check your email. I, I, already it's looking a little bit better than the uh, original Hack Me here. We uh, have abandoned the clear Windows OS without any actual Windows functions. We have a more fictionalized sort of, looks like some kind of Linux variant. Um, hold on a moment. I'm just realizing that I have part of the screen cut off. So let's fix that. All right, so here we go. So, uh, looks like we have abandoned the uh, Windows OS, uh, which the original Hackney blatantly was a, it had the Microsoft logo in the corner and everything. Um, so blatant windows rip off without any of the actual windows functionality. Now it looks like we have some kind of, um, non-specific OS, maybe some kind of Linux variant, judging by the icon there. Um, so we'll see what we've got. We still got, uh, some of our, we still have the fictionalized hacking tools, uh, of Hivage and CUD and B-Force, but you know, I, I still don't see the point in that, but Hey, you know, it is what it is. So I have something for you. Check your email. Double click on the mail icon. Okay. Ooh, mail from Kate. Okay. Double click on the mail icon. Kate. This is a very stripped down mail client, but all right. Hi, don't reply to this email and don't try to find me. I want you to do something for me and my friends at the same time. Just check your email sometimes. Don't forget to clear logs, Kate. Okay, well, that's particularly useful information. Okay, let's try. The first mission is to hack someone account. Oh, you can't see that. Okay. Go to hacklife.com tomatom 402439. Okay, if I click that link. He is the target. Thomas, is it Kitely? Open B for us and enter all the data you know. Okay. Well, you have multiple windows up and I can actually move stuff around, which is already an improvement over the second one. So I uh, really do appreciate that. That was one of my biggest gripes uh, over Hack Me 1 is that, you know, you had this desktop, but you couldn't really use it like a desktop. So, Hi everyone, I'm Thomas Kitely. Uh, actor and movie director, I became known for the lead role in the TV series Mr. Droid, which I'm guessing is supposed to be a, a play on Mr. Robot. Again, I've never seen Mr. Robot. I, I, I tend to, to avoid um, 
pop culture that deals with these kinds of things because it's too frustrating to, to watch. Um, they just get so much of it wrong. Um, it's kind of like I also avoid police and law procedurals for this the same reason so um okay uh, hello world why do you need to avoid mile wire co-products okay if you see it smile okay um so is this can i actually copy and paste because this this is actually the context menu. Can okay, it's actually the shell context menu for my own OS, I believe, because these are my some of my extensions. So that's neat, I guess. Uh, user ID. Am I to assume that that's just his name? Because it shouldn't be. Oh, it's. Much time. I do already appreciate being able to copy and paste and stuff. Uh, so connected, forcing, go. And again, this is a world where I guess everyone's password is numeric only. Now open terminal and run command connect this IP. Can I copy and paste this? I can. You can copy and paste. Wonderful. Okay. Yes. All right. Uh, we have a more. I do know. This is I, I, this is already getting cumbersome here. You can't see all of the windows that pop up. So. Um. So we'll just have to go back to this. So you can see what's going on. Okay. Username is. I'm going to um, don't know if you remember this. 402439. Password 382545546. Yeah, the, the, the little things that you miss, um, just the simple things. Uh, quality of life improvements, your your hot keys, being able to select, um, being able to to copy paste and all that kind of stuff, is you really miss it when they're gone. And I really missed them in Hack Me One, but uh, having them back in Hack Me Two is is great. Uh, it it improves my experience with the game so much. Now send me photos. Use mail transfer account photos cat three at hiu dot com. Okay. All right. Now, is that is that something? That, yeah, they must have wanted me to do that in terminal here. Huh? Okay. You're an amateur. Achievement unlocked. Hey, fuck you, buddy. Well done. See you later. Don't forget to clean logs. Okay. Well, sometime later. Email from Gomerta. Very well, Gomerta. What have you to say? Hello, I have a small Mixtube channel. I'm on it already two years, but it have very few subscribers. I know the feel, dude. I know the feel, but hey, you know, it is what it is. Please increase views on video. Hack me. Hidden ending solved. Now there are 71 views, but I need... Do you want to go from 71... To 150,000, I'll pay you $1,500. Okay. Odd job, but we need money. To perform the job, we need two programs, Cud and Huvage. I don't want to play the music, because if I do, I'll get a copyright strike, because it's automatic. Enter URL mixed to Gomerda and look for vulnerabilities. Website's closed for technical reasons. Well, it shouldn't be, but okay. HTTP colon backslash backslash mix to com forward slash gomerta. All right. 
the vulnerability is found, it's time to exploit it. Open Hivaj and fill it with data you know. Address of vulnerability, old and new value. Okay, yep. And being able to have all of these open and moving them around. Huge, huge quality of life. Next one. Next two. Um, Nerta. Sub. Oh, that's sun. Score confirm. Initial value. All right, we got to connect first. 71. New value 1500. Or 150,000. Let's find the value. Okay, change the value. Okay, so as far as like the realism of the tools, um, I mean, CUD, as I mentioned for the video on Hack Me, I mean, there's lots of utilities out there that are vulnerability scanners for web apps. Uh, Burp Suite is one that I've used before. That's really nice. This reminds me a little bit of that. Um, Hivaj, um, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do this. So there's, we're, we're hitting the web server and we're finding a value. The only way that this works is if there was a major, major problem with the way things are set up for this website. This should, this is, I, I would, I would scarcely say there's ever going to be a situation where this is possible. Not even scarcely, I would, I would say. Uh, thanks, money already you. All right. Money me, me a money and eating now. I don't want to listen to music. I don't want to get copyright strict. Oh, some B, B mail. What's up? I'm an active user of 3chan.hkk and I read threads every, and I read threads every day is vital, but I forgot my account password. And if I can't remember it, I will do a su suicide. Please help. I think that you need help. See, there is, see, there is no fort. There's you're, you're in luck, man. The whole site's down. Whole sites down. Right, anyway. Ah, so that was HTTP code. Echan.hkk. Oh, did I get it wrong? Echan.hkk. That's, that is what it is. Okay. Um, let's try Hivage then, I guess. Error. Okay. Well, the, the site doesn't seem to exist, dude, so. You want me? Um, you, want, you want me just run a brute force? I don't even know your. Maybe I do know it. Here, and your user ID is just. E. Action failed. Okay. Uh, I legitimately don't know what you want me to do here, dude. Rechan, HKK. Is it fully qualified? No? Okay. Sure, what you want me to do? What am I doing wrong here? Can't oh, there we go. Hang 
Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure what uh, what they're looking for here. What is this? I didn't make some weird mistake with the URL, did I? No. Hmm. Okay. What's this? That's nothing. Can I get a hint? This isn't going there. That site doesn't exist. <laughs> uh, all right. This is, uh, this is, uh, it, it's, it's, the browser is actually a functioning browser, it seems. Um, all right. Oh, I don't know where to go here from this. Let's try just connecting. You need to have a user. All right. Um, do I have a functioning command line? No, can I ping? No, can I just look up? That's not a functioning command line. Um, nope, okay. I can't run anything. Right, you can clear. But no list of possible commands. I don't know, guy. I think uh, I think you might want to just go ahead and uh, commit, uh, prepare to commit some Sudoku because I don't know what else to tell you. You're not giving me any information. Um, I mean, we can try default accounts. Um, yeah, let's just try, I'll just try one more here. Okay. Um, so I can't connect to the server, any of our tools. I, I don't know what else to do. L from B. Network disconnected. God, then what, what, then what am I doing? Um, I, yeah, I got no clues here. I can get somebody missing something in the mail. Sup, I'm an active user of uh, There's not much information in there. So, no, I don't know what to do. I'm not getting any instruction. None of my tools are working. I don't really technically have enough information for that. Nice. I don't like that. It's too busy. It hurts my eyes. I got the color black. That's yeah, not good. Back to white. Okay. Um, what else can I do? Not gonna play this music because that's gonna get me in trouble. I can't ping. I can't do a lookup. I can't do. I can't do anything here. Can I do IP config? No. Can I do IF config? No. Can't do ping. Can't do trace routes. I can't even do sudo. Okay. I can I can clear. Uh, 
Um, yeah, I literally don't know what to do. So I could look it up, I guess. I feel like I shouldn't have to, though. I, I'm, I'll look it up just this once, and we'll see. Depending on the um, result I get back here, if it's something that I just li literally missed, or um, if it's something that I... It, let me put it this way. If it's something that I, I couldn't possibly have been able to know, I'm not going to bother with the rest of the game, because if I have to look up something because it's not giving me enough information, then that is outrageously... Um, Frustrating. Oh, it doesn't seem like there's any very good guides on here. Acme 2 walkthrough. English full guide. Okay. It's not so much of a walkthrough, it seems. <laughs> says the walkthrough. So here's our first challenge. Acolife.com, Tomatom, we did this, we did this, we did this, got that. Here's our Gomerda guy, we did that. Uh, here's what we have here. So it appears that what we're supposed to do is use CUD to find the Soch um, vulnerable URL. Note that when I do, it doesn't work. Yeah, so... Well, I guess that's my experience with Hack Me Too. I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, or if there's a bug, but it really does seem like there's a bug. The guide directs me... Well, it doesn't really direct me to do anything. It's just a list of things, but it seems to me that I should be able to discover a vulnerable subdomain. And cut is the utility in the game world that we use to do that, but it comes back with nothing. So, and I can't get an IP. So I guess I'm done. All right. Well, I guess that's hacked me too. Um, so some major, major improvements over the first game. Um, the, the the amount of features that are available was a real quality of life improvement. Still, um, not a great hacking game. Um, not certainly not the best hacking simulator that I've ever played. There's a couple on my channel that that I really liked a lot more. Uh, but this is definitely heading in the right direction. It's a great improvement over the first one. And Hack Me Three is going to be out. I guess pretty soon. So I'm definitely looking forward to playing that. I don't know what's going on with this mission or I would actually keep playing this. I, I might play this for, uh, for, for quite a while, at least, at least a little while longer, but, um, I really seems like we ran into a bug here and I'm simply not, uh, at this point invested enough to, to put up with it, to be honest. All right. You know what? We're going to do the super nice guy thing. We're going to, we're going to load a checkpoint. Oh, those, Bytards. Well, help him. On 3chan, you only have three attempts to enter passwords. So I loaded the checkpoint and it immediately moved on. This is why I wasn't able to use the utilities. I apparently missed uh, triggering some checkpoint. Um, and here we are. Uh, so I, I reloaded that checkpoint and we're just fine now, it seems. On 3chan, you only have three attempts to enter a password. Use CUD and Havage to increase the value to 2 million. So. Now you can actually move on, I bet. Yeah, see, it was a bug in the game. Now uh, there's the Soch, so now I can use Hivar. HK cave forward slash Soch, connect to server. Initial value is three, find value. <laughs> I mean, of. There's certainly only going to be one value in the entire 
of all of the variables associated with whatever this web application is supposed to be. Certainly there's only one that could equal three. There we go. See? I remembered the password, but thanks anyway. Well, fantastic. So that was a little bit of a bite in the ass, huh? The whole having a bug mess us up. That's unfortunate. It's only the third mission, so... I don't have a problem with games that have bugs in them, but it does seem like this is awful early for that to be happening. Okay. Hello. We are J. Representantov de la French company Zeppel. Please. We are ready to provide you our nouveau product revolutioni il die n u k new system 298 you must go soup le site h m t p zeppel Steed go dot f r either la vapros here nikhoroshaya bolie stance or stance no chance okay i've read it so let's Hello, we are the representatives of a French company, Zeppel. Um, we are ready to provide you our new product, new revolutionary product. Um, you must go to Soup Yeah site. Soup. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. This is obviously, this is exactly the kind of link we definitely want to click on, right? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it gave me the option, so no, of course I don't. That's scam. It's time to give them a, it's time to give a good lesson to them. There is opened a new website for anonymous <clears throat> denunciations. Go to blackbox.com and send request, okay? That website, they're scammers. Scam. They will be punished. I kind of doubt it, but okay. A month later. I don't want to listen to music. Mail from at cat. Okay, I see you're doing. I see you're doing well. I'd like to introduce my project. Per All right, let's see what we got. Um, I see you're doing well. I'd like to introduce my project, Programming Language F33 for Development of Hacking Software. I uploaded source code to CuntCloud LT F33. Download it if you need. Don't forget to clear logs. Keep downloading F33 source code. Open F33 ID 7E and try to say hello to the world. Projects Hello World. It's not actually letting me do anything. Oh, it's one of those things where I got to tap on the keyboard and it does the typing for me. Initializing, add, in out operation. This time I'm going to try and keep track of what's actually happening here because last time in Hack Me One, I missed missed the uh, actual code because I was busy running my mouth about something else. Uh, run main procedure main terminal t o create terminal t output text hello. So that's uh, obviously, this is a fictional programming language, but uh, it seems the syntax is legit to me. Compile. Um, it's uh, 
obviously object oriented it's creating a terminal oh i mean the syntax here terminal to create terminal and then referring it to only as to output doesn't make much sense but hey this is a fictional programming language uh congratulations you're making progress now go to mile wire co office where you will find out the details half an hour later already arrived so fast okay let's start i forgot how the sun looks like me too buddy the first thing we need to connect to the enterprise wi-fi network open net view and scan all connections of this network to find a password mile wire okay can't actually select it it's already selected so just as with hack me one this is our uh air crack analog we've got uh uh, clients attempting to connect to a wireless network and uh, what we're trying to do is intercept an auth packet and then um, to infer the password by cracking the hash which in the real world is somewhat of a more complicated process but not really I mean it's this is a ballpark it's a, an analog I suppose and just like that we have it again apparently all passwords in this world are um, numeric in nature so connect and we are connected and now do keylogger in f33 ide oh boy a keylogger ticket 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 tick i'm just tapping d and h over and over again add in out operation add key code registry mail protocol add system processes add system registry and this I, I need to actually hit compile in order for it to actually be done so i can actually just tap it all out and look at it when it's done okay i don't know why they include this stuff in this in the last game this whole tap on the keyboard so i mean this is just total theater it, it's not a mini game it adds nothing to the game except um making it look like you're doing something it's uh, this is a bad mechanic i hope they don't put this in the third one it's just really dumb to tippy tap on the keyboard and it all types it all out for you there's a way to do this you know like you can have pseudo code that you can actually type out and or you know how sometimes when we're we're teaching um we're teaching programming to app dev students um we'll just have code snippets and the students just assemble them right so you go over what each snippet does and and then you know there's ways to do this there's plenty of like baby's first you know programming lessons and stuff that you could just use and use those as an analog for what we're doing right now because that's that's what we're doing right we're just <laughs> which by the way malware authoring is not something that most pen testers will end up having to do i mean some of them do and this is oh no okay <laughs> all right <laughs> i thought I, I thought i missed my chance here okay let's see what this is actually so initializing add in out operations so it sounds like we're adding functionality to this uh to the the io buffer or, or i mean we are doing a key logger so this makes perfect sense add key code registry i don't know what that is um there's nothing in the registry that that stores keystrokes um so um i guess would be key code registry then is maybe some kind of lookup table for characters perhaps like character sets i'm giving them the benefit of the doubt here mail protocol because we're going to be emailing system processes because we're going to be accessing those i guess in order to do key scraping i mean you don't technically have to do that A keyboard buffer resides in memory you just need to have access to the memory and system registry um which we we might have to do if this is going to be a persistent key logger and we want to you know have it start up when the operating system starts up so we can put this in maybe the run once keys or something so let's see list text current process text entered text okay so we're listing current processes and whatever is in the keyboard buffer okay event on key press 
add current key code character. Okay, so the key code registry that does seem to be maybe some kind of lookup. Um, and we're going character by character here. And although this isn't an actual lookup, this is just like, hey, what key is pressed? Okay, throw it here. Um, but I'm again, benefit of the doubt here. Event on process switch. So when the process switches or focus switches, I guess we change the current process. Um, we're probably recording that so that we have some context for the keystrokes that we're logging. That makes sense. Event tick, log file, create log file, write log file, mail sender, create mail sender. There's our address. Attachment is going to be that log. That log is going to be the keystrokes and process switches. Procedure main app hide. Okay, so it's that's there. You do this and the thing is secret, apparently. Registry key, create new registry key. Okay, so here's our win log on startup. So we are adding, this is not an actual Windows registry or anything like that, but I get, it's an analog, it's fine. I'm willing to accept that, that's, that we can do that. So add a run once or 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 startup um, something uh, to the registry for our, our key logger. Keyboard hook on key press, create event on key press, system process, process switch, okay. Timer T create timer, what's the timer for? T period. Um, so that's our tick is going to be, that's our interval of um, 320,000 milliseconds, I guess. Um, and we're not, oh, it's, uh, it's emailing out our event tick. So every 32, 320,000 seconds or milliseconds or whatever this time period happens to be, um, we are emailing Kate with the log file. So I don't appreciate the tippy tap on the keyboard to make it look like we're, we're doing stuff, but that actually does kind of make sense as code goes. Like, I don't understand the syntax of F33 because it's a fictional programming language, but it, I could follow it and I get what they're going for. So, you know, I get points for that for sure. Well, now with the command remote, connect to the computer of head of department Gamma. Obviously, that username is Gamma too, okay, if you say so. <clears throat> okay. I'm find out the IP one nine two one six eight fifteen eighteen. Then send him keylogger exe using send command. Okay. So they want me to do terminal. They want me to do a connect. Do this and gamma. Uh, we need the password, so we have to brute force that first, I guess. Uh, but how do I? I don't have a URL and my brute force doesn't actually work with an IP address. Um, so Oh, and they did, uh, during hack me, I, I was like, man, I really, what I really need to do is I really want a notepad so that I can make notes. Um, so they, they added that as well. So that's again, good. It's uh, they definitely way, way better than the first one. Um, what was I doing though? Um, um, Oh, and you can uh, let's try Gamma Gamma. No, okay. I I cannot get this. Um, hmm. See what the uh, the uh, what's it what it what's it is says here. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's right. They told me to use the remote command.
There we go. And logger.exe is where? Do I have to mail it to him? Yeah, I can only, I can't, uh, protected connection remote control isn't available. And I don't know where logger exe is. File. Compilation error. Okay. Upload. File edit. No, we can't do anything with any of that. Okay. Uh, we're not exe. Oh, okay. Now clear logs with clean logs and get out. That was just a lucky guess. Uh, okay. Unknown error. Enter. I, is that really necessary? Because I kind of can't. Or is that supposed to be a terminal command? What? It shouldn't be. Oh, it is. That was stupid. I just totally guessed my way through the last couple of things in there because I didn't have enough guidance to actually, you know, complete it logically. Um, I got a chat now. All right, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be done for now uh, because I'm already. This is now about 40 minutes or so. Um, I think I might come back to this, maybe. Um, way, way better than the first one. I have a notepad. I can copy and paste. I've got more control. I have a better desktop environment. Just by and large, huge improvement. Still not a great hacking simulator because of the problems that were in the first game kind of carried over to the next one, which is like everything is kind of an analog and it kind of looks right but it's kind of pantomiming everything and it's still really more of a uh of a narrative like i'm I'm playing through a narrative i don't really have a lot of control i'm not getting to make a lot of choices and i don't appreciate that in my games but i might stick this one out a little while longer and uh, uh maybe possibly i don't know if, if you want to see more let me know otherwise i might not bother all right, that's it then. Take care. That's Hack Me 2. Hack Me 3 isn't out yet. Let me see when it's supposed to be out. Because the last update to this one um, was only in 2020. So Hack Me 3, according to Steam, it just says coming soon. No release date. So it says there is a demo, though. So I might play the demo. Possibly. All right. Take care.